Great branding extends beyond beautiful visual elements. It also includes the overall client experience that you offer. If you're struggling to keep up with all the little details of your client experience, and specifically with the system to get clients onboarded, this video is for you. I'm gonna show you how to create a system using HoneyBook that keeps your business organized so you can focus on what's important taking care of your clients with a remarkable client experience. Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Shawan. I'm a brand strategist and small business owner. Here on the channel, my mission is to help you elevate your brand and boost your business. If you find value in today's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive into this video. Prompt response times, personalized interactions, and going the extra mile to serve your clients are all important to your client experience and your bottom line. And here's why. If your clients have a positive experience with your brand, that will lead to brand loyalty, which then leads to repeat business, and that leads to positive word of mouth referrals. All those things we want, right? And I teach this concept inside of phase four of my brand and visibility accelerator that is focused on creating systems for your client experience to make all of that leading to, leading to, leading to happen. And here's the thing. Once a client says yes to working with you, they raise their hand, they say, yes, I wanna work with you. You have the solution to the problem that I have. I see the transformation on the other side. I want this, right? So they say yes. You want to then wow them with your client experience and that starts with your onboarding process. The system that I use and I've been using for years is HoneyBook and I absolutely love it. And the reason is because I can easily manage my client experience. That includes my onboarding process, automations, invoicing, sending out questionnaires, email templates, and project management all in one place. It literally takes me five minutes or less to onboard a new client because I have a system in place and I have a tool to help me carry out that system. It simplifies the entire experience for me as well as my clients. And check out the link in the description below for a special discount code if you want to give HoneyBook a try. Now let's dive into how this all works and I'm gonna walk you through a quick tutorial. Before we dive into HoneyBook for this quick tutorial walking you through my onboarding process, and I'm gonna be showing you my photography onboarding process when I onboard a new brand photography client. And before we dive in, I want you to maybe grab a piece of paper, you know I love post-it notes, get a post-it pad, a pen, and I want you to think about how you want your onboarding process to feel. What kind of experience do you want to get started with that client that said yes to working with you, right? Remember you want to wow them. So your first step might be to send out their invoice and contract, and maybe you want to include a personalized email that will go along with that too. Just letting them know you're excited about working with them. You may want to include a few things, maybe one or two what's next items for them. That way you're letting them know that you're thinking ahead, right? Some of the things that they may be thinking about too. It's like, okay, after I sign and after I do this, what's next? So with your client experience, experience you want to be able to anticipate and in our anticipation we can also plan for that anticipation too right by setting up the experience in advance letting them know what to expect so maybe just one or two things that you include with that email so maybe the next step in your process that could be once you receive their contract all signed everything's been handled they're officially booked Perhaps you wanna send out another email confirming that you are in receipt, you've received um, their contract, you're excited once again to be working with them, and perhaps with that email, you're going to attach maybe a PDF that walks them through, walks them through more of 
expectations that you set would work for working together, right? So letting them know like what's next, um, maybe schedule a consultation for myself for this branding um, onboarding process that I'm going to show you. And that email that I send out, um, also including a link to get their wardrobe consultation all scheduled too. So that's the next step for them. So think about your process. Uh, maybe you send out that email and then you include a task for yourself that's a part of your onboarding process. So once you've onboarded that client, maybe there is a separate thing that you send them in the mail or some type, type of welcome PDF or maybe a video that you send them. So just think about, think through your onboarding process and how you want that client to feel after they've raised their hand and said yes to working with you. All right, let's hop on in to this tutorial. I'm gonna show you my onboarding process. And once again, this is for my brand photography clients. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the description for me below. All right, let's get into this tutorial for real, for real this time. So at this part of my process, I've already received confirmation from the client that they want to move forward with booking a session. So what I do next is go into HoneyBook. I add their project in. So we're going to do that now to get their onboarding process started. So to start their onboarding process, we're going to go over to new, select new project. I'm going to enter the project name and I like to begin my project names based on the service that I am providing for that client. So in this case, it is for brand photos and for project type, I'm going to select branding. Your project type is based on the service that you are providing. So if your service, there are some populated pre included or included services or project types already here. If yours isn't listed, just simply click on the add button to add it into HoneyBook. The lead source, I do like to track that information. So I'm going to say this client found me on Instagram. And for their session date or their project date, it will be, let's say, we're gonna make it October 6th. And for 11 a.m., Let's see, did I scroll past 11 a.m.? I did. I should have my glasses on while I'm doing this, but I don't. <laughs> All right, 11 a.m. If you can't find it, you can always type it in too. And the end date will be the same date. And this is a two-hour session. Let's make it a three-hour session. We're going to say that they're going to have a three-hour session this is a big branding session. So now we're going to select create project. All right. And because I know that I have put my name in many times, I'm already inside of HoneyBook. So I'm going to select existing client. If this is not the case for you, this is a brand new client. You will simply enter their full name, their email address, and you can also select additional details that you can include um, with this client. So their phone number might be important for you to have inside of HoneyBook as well as their mailing address. Any notes that they've shared with you, maybe during their consultation, you can add them here as well. All right, now we have the project set up. I'm going to also include the project location, which will be here at the studio. There we go, Medway, perfect. All right, now that all of that all of those details are in. We're going to now create a file and get our client an invoice out. And you'll see smart files come up. Your smart files are everything that's listed here that you can send out um, as a file to that client. So think about having a filing system, maybe like back in the day with onboarding a new client. I can raise my hand and say this because I've done this but you may have all of these different forms. Think about going to the doctor's office, all of these forms that you have to fill out. So smart files are those forms. So you have a smart file for your contract, your invoice, your proposal, any questionnaires, um, services um, that you offer. You also have the smart file of a scheduler that is new here inside of HoneyBook. In this tutorial, I am going to select the smart file for a proposal. And these are files too that you're able to set up and create in advance. So your contract would be a separate smart file. In this case, I've created 
one smart file that includes the contract as well as the payment portal for them as well, which we'll see in a second. And as this mentioned, this says right here, it speeds up processing, makes it super easy. You're gonna see that in a second. So selecting proposal, and this client has booked my collection one. So I'm gonna select collection number one here and populate it in each of these pages are their invoice, their contract, as well as a payment link. Easy peasy, right? So as you can see here, here's their invoice. One thing that I love about this is that because I've already um, set this up in the system, it automatically separates the payment. Um, this, the due dates are all in and ready to go, so I don't have to do anything. You see why I can do this in five minutes or less. So I'm gonna scroll back up. We have the contract. It's already inside and ready to go. And then the third page will be their payment. So their first payment, and then they have all of the um, options of how they would like to pay included as well. So I've gone through, reviewed everything, looks great. I'm going to select now share. The next part of my process with sending out their invoice and contract is also to include an email that goes with this. Um, I've already set up my email in the templates area of HoneyBook to make things easy too. I don't have to think about what to say. So I'm going to scroll down to that email to send out a brand shoot proposal. And all I need to do is insert my client's name. And I do this, you can insert fields so it populates, but I do this as a reminder to personalize this email before I send it out. One of the things that I might want to do when personalizing it is say, for instance, this client shared with me that they're starting a brand new podcast. So in this, with personalizing it, I could say, we're gonna have a fun time creating images for your new podcast. I am looking forward to it or something like that, right? Just letting them know like it's personal. It's just not an automated email that's going out. That's something that I prefer because it's a part of my brand. So I'll go through the email. I have set a next step included in here. I won't share it on this screen because my hair and makeup artist, is in, her information is here, but that next step is included for them. And now I simply send out this email. I select send, let's just do it. All right, it's on the way out to my client. Now I'm going to go back over to brand photos. Once my client signs the contract on their end, I'm also going to sign it. And then I am going to select automation to then start their entire workflow of us working together. All right, friends, grab that special discount down in the description box below to check out HoneyBook. If you want to learn more about branding for your business, be sure to click the video on your screen. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.